DCA Adventure is rated F for fucking awesome. What's going on, everybody out there? Welcome to DC Adventure. I'm your host, Crypto. Of course, we have our co-host with us, helpful Crypto Miner. Hey, hey, hey! What is going on, everybody? Of course, this is a pre-recorded for y'all because at this time I will be driving, uh, but we're still gonna have this episode for you in the same time slot as normal, so we don't interrupt your morning uh cartoons as uh, we like to call it growing up cartoons so how are you all doing out there hope you're all doing well and fantastic hope you're enjoying your coffee and yeah we're here to talk about a little bit of some deep dive deep dive of course um kind of going to go over some other alternatives that we've been you know viewing giving some eye to you know, not as not just you know Binance Smart Chain and Polygon and Ethereum, uh, what we've all been kind of looking at here recently. But we're gonna go over a few more just to kind of look at them and give them a look over, see what they have to offer using our favorite tool. Uh, you know, of course, VFAT dot tools. So, but before that, of course. There is something that we do need to talk about, uh, and that is this over here uh, that we like to call for Savage. All right, so Savage is currently sick, um, as we do know, is that he is recovering. Uh, he had COVID, and he's recovering from that, so he's in the hospital. That's all we can really say so much. Uh, it's not our place to tell everything, but. Uh, he is in the hospital and not doing the greatest. Um, so we are, we're setting this aside here to help him out and to help his family out to anything that they, they will need. Uh, we have this set up in place, us and the, the mining uh, community. And there's a few of us that have come together to help take care of this and facilitate this. Vega has done all of the awesome work. Um, so shout out to him for putting this all together and we're all just here front running it making it giving it every bit of oomph that we can um, so guys you can donate ethereum you can donate bitcoin ravencoin aeon conceal flux um whichever of those you prefer there is even a gofundme you can find this at the very top of the text channels in a, in the dca adventure discord which is down in the description below uh, you can find all of this all these info all this information um, even if you want to communicate or put in some effort into what we call a uh, hash for savage so if you see us tagging that on Twitter and everywhere else uh, we're all over here on ethermine for for savage uh, you know hash in a way we'll refresh it real quick as you can see there's 32 giga hashes guys we were sitting here there was a live stream on Thursday uh, with me and a few, uh, me, Yashnik, Mindybiz, uh, Seth, and as well Vega, we're all, and Panda, we were all sitting here chit-chatting and going over this and sharing this to the communities and started watching and just ramp up. Um, we had a peak of 40 giga hashes of, of current at the, like at that time, it's kind of leveled out to an even 35, 37 area. Uh, which is freaking fantastic, guys. Like, this is amazing. I mean, this is more giga hashes than I've ever seen. And I'm here, I'm here contributing. Uh, you can see, my, by, see me by CMD for Savage. Um, that's the rig name that I'm using currently. So if you see that, you know, we hash it over there. Uh, it's freaking fantastic, guys. It's just, it's great to see that the community's coming together uh, to 
any any way in every way that they can. Um, as you know, most of us are miners, so we are donating the the hash power that we would normally uh, have somewhere and just pointing it here to one place to helping out a good cause and helping out a good family member of ours. Uh, we're all family. So, FA to all of you guys who are contributing. Thank you all so much. Uh, anything that you would like to say helpful over any of this? Uh, no, not really, but just keep on hashing. Right. Keep those rigs up. Let's get this man, the one ETH, to help him out. There's been tons of community effort. Uh, the Flux community has donated Flux. The Conceal Network has donated uh, Ethereum. Uh, Aeon has donated a lot, guys, a lot. I think they were like 45,000 Aeon. is what the entire Aeon community, uh, Aeon, and then Matt spoke himself, which is like freaking fantastic. Uh, like, huge shout out to Aeon and Yashnik and all of them for helping out like that. That's just crazy. Uh, freaking A, guys. Freaking fantastic. Fucking awesome. That's right. So, now, on to what we are uh, kind of looking at, guys. Of course, we're our favorite tool, uh, you know, vfat.tools. They got so many great things as you can see they have this is the all home page you have the all page which just shows every single thing that they've listed you know binance smart chain hecko polygon x die avalanche phantom harmony fuse thundercore and uh seniorage yeah whatever that seniorage that's like thousands don't know what that is uh i'm Senior unfamiliar Ridge. with seniorage and thundercore and fuse fuse um never I'm familiar with XDAI. I've never used XDAI as a DeFi platform. Um, as some of you know, Gitcoin uses XDAI for their NFT structure and stuff like that. So I've used it for that, but not for a, uh, a DeFi aspect. I haven't used Hecko, Polygon I've used, Binance Smart Chain, of course. So, yeah, I've never heard of that one, though. Senior. That'd be for another episode. Yeah, for gonna, another series that's a whole other deep dive because i've never even never even went in with that and you're saying something about like thundercore isn't really doesn't really have anything anymore uh anything worthwhile anyway yeah because it was uh given out to the community as sort of a pyramid scheme when you download their wallet you can either log in with two centralized platforms, Google or Facebook. And then they even push you to invite friends and get rewarded for using their wallet. And they pay you, gosh, I don't even know how many tokens, but yeah. I'm even surprised that they even had a DeFi ecosystem. Age. No, and it's structured in a way that uh, points out which network it's on. Very nice. Very nice DeFi tools. Shout out to, shout out to you for making this and making this free. I think we should have them on sometime. I would love to. Would absolutely love to. So it looks like the all page is actually uh, the Ethereum number. Because that's the main chain. Yeah, so all is actually ETH. Because one inch alpha and armor. Like these are all Ethereum and there's no more other than that, so looks like that's an Ethereum. Good to know. Maybe we should label that ETH. Uh, Maybe. No but anyway, off topic. First thing we're going to talk about, of course, is the Hecko chain. 
which you can look at it by clicking on Hecko, and this just gives you a breakdown of all of the pools, um, you know, LPs, the reward tokens, the pool itself, or the website, whatever you want to call it. That one caught my eye at first, because, you know, lava. I like lava. Yeah. That in your tabs, and you guys go right there. Boom. QOB Eco Chain. Which QOB is also an exchange. If some of you did not know that. Was an exchange first. But it looks like they've been they've been adding into the DeFi space for what about six months? Is what I think. They've been kinda of diving into it. I haven't used any of their stuff, but they definitely made headroom. Uh, yeah. Some headway on that. I mean they're going. Of course they don't have a whole lot of uh, stuff going on. Yeah, they don't they don't but really have enough. They're working up. I mean they have a lot on other chains. Like if you go over to like the Echo chain system over here on Point Gecko, you know, it it, la it it lists out, you know, these ones which are different of course than what VFAT was going with. But there are at least you know, there's beefy. Beefy finance is pretty uh pretty well known. Uh, in in a, a few different ecosystems. Yeah, but they don't have anything really unique. No, uh beefy is like a beefy is like a vault. The best yeah. way to put it, it's just a vault. Just basically going there you need to store your coins and get reward. That's it. Not really, you're not really like liquidity mining or, you know, anything, anything like that. You're just vaulting it, putting it in a, putting it in a vault, locking it up, uh, and trusting that they're okay. Yeah, he's had a few issues with their uh, with their fees mainly. They have some like insane fees on sometimes on some of their things, and they set that fee, and they're not very clear about where that fee goes either. Uh, which is a big red flag for me. I've never used Beefy. Uh, I've that. used, I've used Beefy, but that was only for Binance Smart Chain, and that was a one and done. And then I never used the platform again. Yeah, I, that's where I first learned about it was on Smart Chain. But yeah, any, any other, uh, any other thing that you need to know? Or want to know about the Hecko stuff? Well, if you, uh... Wow, we should have done something else <laughs> with this. Because they also have a way that you can set up your... for their chain. Mm -hmm. Let me... Let me just open a new tab here and Dox my doxable address. <laughs> I'll I'll even pull up the little share screen. Oops. Uh, looks like I can't share the screen. Yeah, it's because I have it also. Seconds. I will. Not my share. And you can open up your share, and you'll be good to go. All right, let's see if this works. All right. So, as you can see, this is my doxable address. Of course, I'm doing stuff with Matic currently, but I also have Hiko Chain Mainnet. And as you can see, I have roughly nine Hueboy tokens. And as of right now, I'm just sort of trying to see and gauge where I can go. Oh, can't really do anything much about this, but yeah, I have, I've swapped my BNB from Binance Smart Chain through Hueboy's exchange. Which, uh, they're using the QOB exchange. Yep. Which uh, I, so do they yeah. have like, so do they have like a bridge built into their exchange that is allowing me to do that? Nope. 
I had to go, actually, no, I didn't actually go through the Hubley Exchange. I went through the Binance side of any swap. Okay. Used their bridge. Connected to their BCS mainnet. Then used this, and then I swapped it over from the BCS mainnet uh -huh. to Huboy ecosystem mainnet or Huboy mainnet. Click the same thing, which you got to make sure you're on the same chain as before. So Binance Smart Chain. And then I just had at the bottom here, I did that and I was able to do everything. Very interesting. Because it has a cross chain deposit. Huh. Yeah, I haven't used it in swap. Because I'm working on V3 now, huh? So yeah, they're going, they're going on V4 after the new update. Yep, which is going to be pretty swift. It's going to be legit. Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, and that's running on you know you you will be uh, ecosystem. You can kind of push them through that way. Uh, which is interesting, you know, kind of seeing that come about through a uh, through an exchange, nonetheless. Uh, other yeah. Than, other than Binance, Binance has really been the only other one that's done it. Uh, Coinbase we... has been looking at doing DeFi. I don't really know how that's going to go. Yeah, that might uh, turn into a messy, sweet messy mess. fire. Yeah, but well, uh, maybe not. I've... But who knows? Yeah, I've heard uh, rumors that Coinex and uh -huh. Okex okay. are both in the process of setting up chains for DeFi. Interesting. So I that'll that, be. Uh, I know Coin Metro has stuff like that. Uh, Coin Metro is big on the uh, the Flux ecosystem because they actually natively accept a lot of the. Flux parallel assets that have been going around. And they natively accept all that stuff. And they accept like LP tokens in some states, in some like circumstances, but they like KYC and stuff like that. So you, you're not anonymous at that point. But yeah. Eh, huge threat. Eh. I don't use them. <laughs> but yeah, lava lava swap. I want to see something big from them. I want to see at least, you know, get some pools on there. Get because some there like, wasn't much on there right now, right? Yeah, no, it's all LP tokens. All LP tokens. All. You see? And then you go to inactive. And it's all there. It's just lava and ETH pools. Huh. There's no stake Q-Boy token and get, you know, nulls or MX or DAT. There's nothing. It's LP oh, mining. Right. There's nothing like what we have on the Binance Smart Chain, the Ethereum's chain. Or... Even, on their, uh, even on their farm. Here's their farming page. I mean, but again, that's lava. But that's only lava. Why not expand it? Oh, there's cheating. I don't know what cheating is. Thump. Who? Who's uh? Who dot com is also working on a smart chain, which is kind of weird. Huh. The who pool. But yeah, they. It's almost like the ecosystem just sort of was like 
there and then fizzled out. There wasn't right. really anything, there wasn't any glue like Polygon has or the that the Binance Smart Chain has. Mm-hmm. There was nothing. And most of these... Nut. I love the nut. <laughs> the nut monkey. And most of these are just swapping services. Literally. Oh. Earnings. And you see again, hot and nut. Or HT and nut. HUSD and nut. USDT and nut. Not in Pigo. What H is this? It's a QOB US dollar. Yeah. I'm assuming. But there's nothing like what we have on the Diamond Smart Marching. Oh man. Oh man. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh man. On Bitcoin. Ah, oh, it's solid work. Oh no. Oh man. Guys, I might have put a, pulled a little oopsie. Uh oh. Nothing like Binance Smart Chain, he said. Here we are. Number one thing like Binance Smart Chain. Thing that we love the most about Binance Smart Chain that we had all we played multiple I still play this game. Uh, oh my gosh. And you get to play it on Big. The only thing is where are they getting their data from? Because that was our issue the last time, is that they got, it the chain, they got it from the Chainlink Oracle, and the Oracle was slow. If they're smart, they would tie it to their own, ex- to uh, COB's exchange. Nut Oracle from the Binance API. So, yep. Well, I like it. That's going to be something for you to dive into. I like it. Oh, man. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm not not really a fan of this playing in on, particular. They're playing on the 10 minute chart too. If you look right there. They're playing on the 10 minute charts. Not, they're not 5 minute like uh, well, uh pancake swap does. Pancake swaps on the 5 minute chart. Five minutes right here, but their timing is not ten. I like it. I'm not gonna save it. I'm gonna need gonna the to degens. Do. Just gonna save it to the degen folder. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Man. Yeah, but most of these are Chinese, but they also have an English translation. Kind of makes it a little bit annoying at times. And Maki. I hope this place was created on uh, the 21st, which is Sushi Day. Yeah. Check Makes, out the pools. I hate sushi on Sushi Day. You see that? There's only Maki. one pool. Not even any old pool. Just the one. 500% APY. With a total... Of seven million two hundred and forty-eight thousand one hundred and sixty-seven. That's what they got, and that's total of not in dollars, but actual maki. maki. So, so sixteen cents. Per maki. Sixteen cents times all that plus a transaction fee, which is, I believe, zero point zero zero one. Cuboy token. Just uh, just that alone is 
a million dollars. About a million. Now divide that by 0 0.001. Only what? Zero zero one. zero one? Or one? Yeah. Three zeros and a one? Three zeros and a one. If my Please. math is correct. Yeah. Eleven million. That's eleven billion, sorry. That's a lot of fees. That's a lot of fees. Brody. Good thing we don't have that on Binance Smart Chain or Polygon. What's that slime? Peace. Peace. Mocking Man. Yeah, $37,000. Yeah, $800,000 in the Matic ETH pool. Yeah, this is the only project that I know has this stuff in like a normalized format. Right. Something easy. All the, for all the other ones on here, they were not like that. They're not set up like this. This is looking like what people are used to. Yeah, it's more DeFi Degen esque. Yeah, that's too. Oh, Ooh, yeah, Surtec. Mm -hmm. That's important. Is it actually their audit? Then? Yep, it is. Well, Not that's good. Com, so that's good. Hmm. Five twenty-four, twenty twenty-one. Yeah, yesterday. We're on yesterday for us, but. That was Thursday. Eh, there no, was it's five. There was the revision. That's when it was onboarded. Was five twenty four. There was a re revision date on the twenty fifth. Request date was the eighteenth. That's going to be cool. That's a good one. I good. might. And they don't have uh, it's a PDF, so. They don't have any criticals. That's good. Got two majors. They Six got nine, nine miners. Nine, nine mining, seven information. Variable name convention, centralized control of bonus multiplier, add parentheses, function not restricted, missing emit events, which is gas Over optimization. Token. And you, you can see the status, there's all, they've all been resolved. So that means they actually listened to an audit. Migrators. Hmm. That's good to see. One master for that. LP tokens. Good job, uh, good job, Maki team. So, Maki and Nut. Nut Maki. Two that have my eye. Fees, though. Fees. Fees. Those are gonna kill you. Yeah. Alright, now we move on to the Avalanche Network. I've heard some pretty good things. I've used it for Elk. Bamboo 
and also just to screw around on it. Just seeing what's on there, just exploring. I mean, it's... It There's looks avalanches like it's on their own now, right? Yeah, I believe so. They even have their own wallet, so... That's a good thing. Get off of the... Pop. Oh man, so you got some Yeti, bamboo, panda swap, and panda. Let's check out panda swap. I want to see if they updated anything. Panda. Because I was on the uh, version one farms. Mm, farm. Bulls, nothing will be too farms. Oh, and it's sort of like the old sushi swap. You look at that one rock on the wall. That's a mummy. Yes. I can't look at it because I don't have any kind of wallet connect. What a bummer. That's sad. Actually, you can, uh. You can edit this stuff hard. You can connect with MetaMask and some DeFi applications will actually give you a pop up. And it'll basically tell you, all right, you can add this network. All you need to do is verify that information. So, I'm going to check that out real fast. And... Okay, guys. So, here we are back at the back on this. As you can see, we went and connected it so that way we could see uh, the V2. We can see what's on the menu. So, that double, dip, that double dipper, waxy bamboo, one up for the DeFi. Please, please, laundry basket. <laughs> <laughs> Sticky link, sushi party, the D5 dog, snowman eight, spacewalkers. This is interesting. I think we should definitely uh <laughs> check this out. Sushi chef. Interesting. So, reward allocation, APYs, TBL, wax, deposit, bamboo, B2, dash, ABAX, PGL, earn bamboo, V2. So, is this liquidity? Liquidity tokens, yep, right there. Double tokens. So, you have to have the LP token. Yep, it's the same thing as uh, what the old uh, sushi swap used to be. Mm -hmm. Staking, you can improve bamboo it's by staking your bamboo. Hand swaps. Mm -hmm. That's so, fucking cool. Total bamboo volume supply rewards per block. Fifty. Fifty bamboo V two per block. That's pretty decent. And it's a hundred percent community run. Sample tokens, no pre mine. What does Pain Swap actually do? Yep, it's over there. It's Fortune Sushi Swap. Now I'll change it associated with the smart contract or minimize and highlight it. There is no uh, audit though, it looks like. Yeah.
They're hiring them. <laughs> they're all paying as well. Alright, I like it. I like spammy. I like it. So you gotta add me farm, add me lunch. Canary dot exchange. This is just as this is just similar to uh, elk in a way. Yeah, reminds me of a uh, comet swap. On polygon. Oh, Thomas Lob looks just like this. I believe this is all forked off of uh, Uniswap. Because the layout looks the same. Avex, wrapped Avex, CNR. Which is Canary Token. Drops, burn. But same thing. They don't seem to have very high yields though. Yeah. yeah so they got a few. But that's on the yearly. Yeah. Right. Reward. Per week. Ouch. All that. Oh, we think it's kind of a bummer. Yeah, but I still think Avalanche has a little ways to go. It still needs to have that initial kick from, you know... Oh... One inch, or... Uh... Oof. Someone on the Binance smart chain. Yeah. If they get that connection, that network will grow. For sure. We'll look at those last one real quick. If you're on Avalanche, we swap to the next one. No, not my cookies. Those cookies. I just don't click it. Just act like it's not there. Antivirus and malware protection. Simply decentralized. Eh. Well, I don't know about all that. Don't know about all that. Hard pass. Misa no likey. <laughs> I saw hard pass. So, rolling on to uh, one of the last ones that we're looking at here. Of course, is uh, on the Phantom Chain. Uh, and I said, of course, we're looking at DeFi tools. Just kind of looking at they got, they got a little bit more over here on DeFi. And they got Elk. Elk is transferred over to here as well. Let's see. Yeah. Some ghost, hyper jump, greenhouse, stake, stake. stake hyper stake. jump is uh, actually on the Binance smart chain. Mm -hmm. yeah. or They've got a hyper jump dot five. They got run. Military mm -hmm. universe. <laughs> smart chain of the Phantom. Let's go check out the Phantom. They even, they even got the game over here. They moved it over. Perfect. Very nice. Yeah, I'm also on the Phantom Network. And Hyper Jump is my main. I like Hyper Jump. They did, they did good on Binance Marching. Yeah, right now I'm in uh, uh, their Star Vault. So, it's the MacBook shop, Star Vault. 
I'm doing Ori USDC, Dai USDC, and Dai FTM. And FTM is the native Phantom token. Yep. Those are their one rooms. And that's sushi. And you got ETH and BTC. Let's die. So, I'm assuming their asteroid field is their single pools. Nope, still not. No single pools for them. Or is that what the next staking is? Yeah, I think that. The next yeah. staking is a single, is a singular asset to pools. Which, we're at 200. Jeez, look how much. We got chilling over there. You know, we're all cool. Nice. The Ori FTM. So, just more of the LPs. But it looks like this is for you mining. So, you're earning Ori. This one. Yeah, their native FTM token. Then Star Vaults was basically just vaulting your LPs and gaining interest. In said LP? Yeah, because it's Ori FTM LPs and okay. other LPs. I decided to play it safe on Phantom because I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Beefy. Of course. Which was Binance Green, which is Seed. That's on Binance Smart Chain, too. Maybe we have the Seed token. That price, though. Yeah. And the APRs. And they have lockups. That's a that's a no go for me. What should be? Only ten the, grand. If it's the same thing. <laughs> like, mm, Chad, <laughs> it's probably a VFAT only. It's funny. But yeah. Mills. Mill finance. Better to can swap elk. Curious what their elk is like. Of course, Phantom is currently sitting around 21 cents at the time. Porting this. Cool. Um, now with elk they do farming in rounds so you get like XYZ amount of time to farm and then that farm shuts down hmm. and then you have to go through all the pages and find your farm and withdraw that and then place it in the most current farm if that farm is still around so 40 the day the other day jeez was really full right you can do previous rounds very interesting this is on a farm moose no moose Check out the charts at x.info help finance. Like that's just a double E. Yeah. And it just looks like LP numbers. It's kind of like uh, pancake swaps info. Yeah. Almost exactly like pancake swaps up info. 
This is their new info page. Their new info page is like very nice. I like what they did with it. Interesting. Yeah, it's just the info page is like pancake swaps. Huh. That's cool. Very interesting on their uh, aspect of like timed like farms. Any other one you want to look at? Uh, we could do a small teaser of Harmony. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is uh, this is for setting up a Harmony node on a Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi. It's gotta be a eight gigabyte pi. So this bites the money. Because even for the cloud. So people wear that. You wanna do that with a pi? It's gotta be the eight gigabyte pi four. Pi four is the only one that has eight gigabytes. Uh, soon actually uh pine. 64 is coming out with a new rock pie um, set up with their new pine uh, set up and it's going to be they have a four and an eight gigabyte version oh did i uh forget to mention yes. that i uh got my little hands on a uh arm or no not arm a risk five version of a rock pie Rock pies are cool, man. I like rock yeah. pies. They're a good alternative. Cheaper, too. They are. I mean, you lack a few things, like Wi-Fi support and stuff like that, but that's m minimal loss, because you can always Ethernet or add an, ad an adapter. Yeah. But this is for the community. If you guys are interested I myself will be setting up a Harmony node a Binance Smart Chain node which I already have one set up a Matic full node and a validator node once they come out with instructions on how to do that as well as getting an Ethereum node set up. Very nice. And there is a node section in the DCA Discord that y'all can actually, uh, of course, link to the Discord down below, but there is a node section underneath community. Um, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's underneath the DCA you are mining section, it's just called node-js. Which is a subtle note to those that have done nodes. Coding. Coding. Wrote nodes run on node.js. <laughs> so, good stuff right there, guys. Go, you can go in there and check that out. If there's any information that y'all would love to share, y'all are more, more than welcome to post it in there. As well as where I will copy and paste this piece of information right here so boom boom there you go and yeah uh, anything else that you would like to note on phantom before we move past phantom and on to the last uh, bit of information before we roll out of the day i uh, know good on the phantom huh all yep. right so the final bit guys and of course this is as you most of you all have seen that we're sitting here chit chatting with you in the chat because this is a premiere uh it's what it'll be set as in the future for you for us but y'all be seeing this real time and of course we'll be chatting so any links that y'all are wanting that we are talking about they'll probably be in the chat um while we're while this is going on so just pay attention to the chat and you'll probably find links for all of this stuff that we're talking about Kind of like 
this. Guys, the fourth annual Anna Poker Tournament is going live. It is on July 10th, 2021 at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But today is Saturday, which means it is June 26th, guys. So in about, so it'd be about an hour or so from the beginning of the show, maybe uh, at 3.10, at 3.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday. June 26th registration opens up for the poker tournament so you can click the join button and it'll give you the uh, it'll give you the information that you need to know about the tournament right here which when it is of course all the prizes guys which is just freaking fantastic uh, shout out to Doge Lord for always supplying them those digital gift cards and the merch and that winning tournament t-shirt as well as 20,000 annual first place prize guys of course, oh, I, am, some... I am a bounty, as always. Come at me. As always. Uh-oh. Chum change and pocket change. Yeah, you got both of them, man. You got both of them in there today. Mm -hmm. We also got what to mine? Yep, what to mine's joining. That's going to be an hey. interesting one. I'm wondering who's going to be playing for what to mine. So as you see right here, here are the here's the information that y'all would need, uh, of course, to join the poker club. Enter the club ID number, which is three six six four nine zero two. The code is community. You just enter that in the poker poker stars application. Download it. Go into home games, and you'll be able to enter this information, which will give you the uh, access to. The registration so make sure you register today guys because spots will fill up quick as always um i don't remember the amount exactly we'll have it in the chat for you um but there is a limited amount that will be available because poker stars just limits us um they didn't get back to us maybe by the by the time the actual poker tournament is they will increase the size we put in the request Yashnik did. He put in the request uh, to uh, increase the sizes of the of the pool, but uh, no response yet. So hopefully soon they'll say something and respond back to that. But if you want to watch it as well, you can click the watch button. It just takes you straight to the DCA page, and which happens to be the uh, live in 15 days guys right there you can go there and get ready for the live stream you can even watch it on the web page itself and if you want to sponsor a further event like not this one uh, and maybe you want to sponsor your own event you can contact uh, the DCA team via the help it right there but most importantly make sure you guys go sign up today uh, we'll be hounding you almost every day so go do this as well as go check out the pasture savage because that's freaking fantastic guys uh any closing note from you my man before we head out of here no freaking fantastic guys remember pushing a bunch of fa's in the chat i'm asking for the fa's in the chat right now just just press them so i can play this awesome awesome clip because doge lord is not here with us but he's here with us in our in our ears in our ear holes DCA Adventure is rated F for fucking awesome. That's right, Chris. DCA Adventure is rated F for fucking awesome. We'll catch y'all next time, guys. Peace out. Much love. Safe. Be safety, Jenning out there.